Oh, this is Townley Hall. What a massive tree. <laughs> Never knew this place existed. No, no. <laughs> the museum sign's gone. That's, there's a museum sign before. Okay, right. Museum and Art Gallery. This is where we were, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so massive, dry, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. yeah. Thought those gates, you know, meant something. There's a great war monument. Come on, trouble. Now, that's quite something, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Probably won't be going in the museum, but uh, there's a museum here by the looks of it. Pitch yeah. and putt. That's right, it's the Craft Museum at Arts okay. Gallery. And what do we know about this place? Not much, because I was trying to do some research and yeah. two dogs. <laughs> Started barking at a pigeon. <laughs> at a pigeon, so there's some plaques further up here. Okay. Oh, perhaps off the gardens. A couple of Westies up there, perhaps. Yeah, quite a place. Quite impressive, isn't it? It is. A little plaque here. That was about the landscape. Ancestors of the Townley family granted hunting rights in 1200 and built a hunting lodge at Cas <laughs> Castle Hill. The hall was established in 1491 at its present site. The first record of a garden is in a rental books of St John Townley in, 13, in 1535. Yeah. Oh. A little door, isn't it? Oh, so they were never very tall, were they? <laughs> They're also triangular shaped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the ivy growing up the side. We'll be spot There's spotted a squirrel, a squirrel. now. You never follow it up there, Tara. It's gone, it's gone, gone, gone. It's gone up, gone up an ivy. Yeah, it's quicker than you. Go. And you won't get up there. <laughs> I mean, quite a place, isn't it? <laughs> You're not no, going no, we're not chasing squirrels. squirrels. No. I think we're allowed in now. There's a no dog sign. Yeah, there. yeah, well. Yeah. Understandable. We're in there, T. Cause chaos. Probably would. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to cause chaos? Yeah. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a local craft museum, stables, gardens, war memorial, pitch and putt. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Come on then, T. Come on. She's, she, you can't go in there. She's going for some water. Oh, is she going for some water? Go on, Pot, she wants some water as well. Coffee won't drink that, it doesn't look clean enough. No. Come on. Come on, that's enough. You're all right. Come on. Yes. yes. Quite nice walks around here as well. Who'd have known? No, I know. There we were, coming, just coming looking for a, a meal, weren't we? <laughs> no longer here. There we Tara, Tara, no. <laughs> now this was the ice house and they'd bring water in from the lake and presumably freeze it and keep it for a 
cold drinks, but it's now, it was refurbished apparently in 1975, I think it said. And the building is now a bat roost, so it's closed to the public. You can only enter if you've got a bat license. <laughs> oh, you're a batman. You see the football ground over there? Yeah, I'm just gonna I never see it on this camera, so I will. No, I won't, because I haven't got it with me. But yeah, it's over there somewhere. Bridge there. The bridge has partially collapsed apparently. So there was a music pavilion built here in 1928, 625 feet from the Townley tram, Tramway Terminus. The stage was four foot six above the ground and it was 36 feet wide and 25 feet wide back to front. It must have been up here then. Yeah, I think it was. So you your granddad might have come here when yeah. it was first uh, built. Sun oh, Sunday 1928, afternoon. 1928, yeah. Yeah. Come on the tram. Yeah. Where he walked here. Yeah. Well, he could have walked here if he yeah. lived in that house. Looks like it's gone now, Pops, eh? A bit left by the looks of it. And this must have been the terrace in here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That takes you back up there. Okay, Pops. Okay. Come on. We'll go down here now. Hence the violins. And the music symbol. Go on, Pops, and carry on now. Go on, keep going. <laughs> yeah, it's the little bridge. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bridge, Pops. Well, that's meant to be. I don't know, but uh, someone's putting bird food oh, out. Oh, it's on like it. a spider, isn't it? Is it? I don't know what it is. <laughs> mushroom, more like. <laughs> I think, you know, its legs look like a spider. That tree roots there. Yeah, all about Townley Hall. So it was sold by Elizabeth Lady. Lady sorry, Lady O'Hagan, Alice and Mary Townley in 1901. Said the Burnley Corporation purchased the hall and land from her for 70, 70 what's that say? Seventeen thousand six hundred pounds, which was two million pounds in today's prices. The park opened in nineteen oh two and the hall in 1903. Sundial on the south buttress of the hall commemorates that in the 1660s Richard Townley set up a weather station at Townley. Right. The and stables, the, cafes, the former coach house. Coach house. The cafe was refurbished in 1951, a veranda was added, uh, fire escape, and then war memorial, servants quarters attached to the hall were finally demolished and the stone was used to build three cottages in the woodland along the causeway. Although no plans exist for the ice house that may have been built in the early 19th century. Gives you an idea of the sort of artwork in the, uh, in the house and the museum. Some nice pictures there, a cuckoo and a sedge warbler confrontation. That's some picture isn't it, look at that. There's a plaque on the wall there, Richard Townley. That's his weather thing then. That's his weather uh, vein, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely worth a visit if you're in the area. Just a surprising place to find in Burnley, that's all. A pity we can't go in the museum. Detail on that. Mm, amazing. Yeah. I really enjoyed our little visit to Townley Hall. Uh, yeah. 
And if you did, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, hit the notifications icon, and we'll catch up with you in another one. What would it be? A squirrel, do you think? I think it's a squirrel.